What's up YouTube, Ian here. Today, uh, this is gonna be a short video. This is my PS1 and PS Vita games. These are the ones that have been on my shelf. So if you uh, have seen my shelf, um, you know, in fact, I'm, I'm gonna have to add a picture of that sometime. I do have a picture of it on my Twitter, so follow me on Twitter. My Twitter um, account will be in the description below. But um, yeah, so these are the games that I'm, I've completed. I don't put games on my shelf until I complete them, at least I, I go through the, the campaign. So let's get started. Now this is a, a game that I, I beat a long time ago, and this is Star Wars Rebel Assault 2, uh, The Hidden Empire. So Star Wars Rebel Assault 2, uh, I actually really, I, I have fond memories of this. It's got full motion video, um, and it's just, for me, I, I just had so much fun playing it back in the day. But that's that's no, that nostalgia vision, um, just because I I don't think that game will hold up today, but I'm just gonna fondly remember it. A game that I absolutely hated. I got this from my buddy Bruce. Bruce, uh, let me know if you've uh, you you watch this. Uh, this was your game originally, and I, I eventually bought it from you. And that is Star Wars Masters of Terrace Kasai, and uh, this is. The Probably the worst fighting game that I've ever played, and one of the worst Star Wars games that I ever played. Um, wow, this is one of the first Star Wars games that I that I played. Um, if you haven't noticed, there's a theme. There's a lot of Star Wars games, um, and this is oof, man. I I need to swap this out. Um, in fact, I'm gonna do that after this video. I'm gonna swap it out for a regular. Nice CD case. But this is Star Wars uh, Jedi Power Battles. So I got this from GameStop back in the day. I want to say I got I got it for under $5. Well, I didn't get it. My parents got it. Um, and it was, it was just a, a fun game. I, I loved playing through it. Uh, it was a very difficult game for me. But once I beat it, like, it, it just... That that pressure, you know, like that, that that sense of relief, like when you when you beat one of these PS One games, I swear, like you don't get that anymore with with games, at least not many. Uh, maybe I, I haven't played um, like the Dark Souls games, but I, I feel like that would be one of those games that when you beat it, you're like, oh, thank God, I I get to take a break from this. But um, no, I actually had a lot of fun playing Star Wars Jedi Power Battles. Star Wars. Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. This game, oh man, I, I, I love this game. This game I have really fond memories of. I, I think this was uh, the best PS1 Star Wars game, um, in my opinion. And, you know, like I, I've, I've heard some people say they didn't really like it, but I don't know wh why you wouldn't. I mean, it was, it, this I think was the best Star Wars game, in my opinion, at least on the PS1. Another Star Wars game. You know what? Where Where is my Star Wars Dark Forces? I have Star Wars Dark Forces somewhere, and it is not here. I need to, I need to go f check upstairs. Maybe it, it might have uh, slipped away. But um, Star Wars Demolitions. That is my, my final game. Uh, Star Wars game. Star Wars Demolition. Man, I, I hate that I don't have the, the manuals and the cover art for this. Um, you know, that, unfortunately that happens with PS1 games, but Star Wars Demolition, it's basically like, uh, oh, uh, Twisted Metal. If you play Twisted Metal, it's Twisted Metal Star Wars. Um, I don't know if it really holds up today, but I had a lot of fun playing that. South Park. Man, this game. This is another one of those games, like, I was happy when I beat it, and just because it's just, it's, it's South Park. I I never really uh, was into South Park at that time of my life when I played it, so I didn't really know the characters. And then uh, looking back, you know, it was is decent, but I mean, it's no stick of truth, you know. Or um, oh, what's the other one? Uh, I can't even think of uh, fractured butthole. Here we go, Shrek treasure hunt. Don't remember anything about this game. I beat this so long ago that I can't tell you anything about it. <laughs> and that's, that's just that. Oh, man. Resident Evil Director's Cut. 
man, this this game, I've been waiting to beat this game for so long. I finally went through uh, when I was on leave, and I beat it with my buddy Bruce. We we beat it in one night, and uh, I just had a lot of fun playing that, that game with him. And uh, moving on, we have 102 Dalmatians, Puppies to the Rescue. Uh, and this was one of those games that, uh, <laughs> you know, just... I I think I I got it in my collection through my friend Joey and yeah basically <clears throat> sorry about that um yeah my friend Joey he I think he was the one that gave it to me but I nonetheless we played it together and I beat it and I've never touched it since and I rarely ever think about it and this is another one that I got from my buddy Bruce this is a uh, a collection of Activision Classics. So on the spine, it just says Activision Classics. So that's how I put it in my, my shelf alphabetically. And moving on, PS Vita games. Again, this is not many games. Um, just because uh, I, I do own more PS Vita games than this. Uh, I do own a lot of them that are in Japanese. And unfortunately... Um, yeah, I just I I think I beat more games digitally, um, but that that's just a fact of the matter. I just I have PS Vita games digitally, so we have Uncharted Golden Abyss, uh, great great uh, addition to the Uncharted games. Um, Persona Four, so Persona Four Golden, uh, this was my introduction to Persona. And after I played this game, I just fell in love with the Persona series. Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens. It is a Lego game, and it is a Star Wars Force Awakens game. So I'm not a really big fan of this. And I'm sorry if you're a big fan of the Lego games and the Force Awakens movie. I'm just, I'm just not. Um, but I originally rented this from the Fortless library and um basically i was trying to get the the platinum because i was i read that the platinum was pretty obtainable and i started playing through it completed the game and then i was just like yeah you know what i'm not gonna get the platinum but then i found it uh this on sale and i was like well i beat it i can put it right on my shelf and my ps vita game uh collection needs to be a lot bigger than it is so I decided to pick it up. All right, we have Final Fantasy X and X2 HD Remastered. Um, yeah, I played Final Fantasy X, and I believe X2 was a digital code. Um, in fact, man, I'm missing the art cards, because it says art cards included. Uh, and I bought this brand new, so I should have them somewhere. That, that's, that's bugging me. Um, but any, anyway, um, yeah, the Final Fantasy X-2 is downloadable. So basically, it's Final Fantasy X. And I love Final Fantasy X. Went, loved playing through that. And I was playing through that uh, when I was in Korea. And finishing up, we have Assassin's Creed Three Liberation. So Assassin's Creed Three Liberation, um, I... I think it loosely ties into Assassin's Creed 3. I like I think they could have just called it Assassin's Creed Liberation. Um because yeah, I just really don't remember uh um Connor being in that game. And Connor is the main character of uh Assassin's Creed 3. Um so yeah. That is my PS1 and PS Vita collection. Tune in next time we will be doing my PSP collection, which I don't know if I'm going to do, do games and movies, uh, because the PSP platform, you can, uh, you know, like I have, I have my, my movies first and then my games and yeah, I, I really don't know how I'm going to, I'm going to do that video, but I'll, I'll decide and, uh, just tune in next time to find out. Well, I want to thank you guys for sticking through and watching this till the end. Um, as always, I really appreciate all your support and your comments, all that. You know, I just I just love reading. Um, you know, if, if you guys played any of these, just let me know. Um, if you think any of them are great games, let me know about that. Um, and what games should I add to, to my shelf? Um, 
because uh yeah some some people make recommendations uh i just had someone recommend jump force and that's looking like the next game that i'm gonna play uh so i do take into account what you guys uh say about games so again thank you so much for watching take care and have a wonderful night bye bye